Oregon and USC would meet in the Pac-12 championship game in our 2023 college football season simulation. And you see Oregon there getting on the board. 7-0 Ducks. USC coming right back. They would score. We're tied at 7. Second quarter now. Oregon on the ground. They'll score. And I'm going to show you the whole Pac-12 standings here in just a second from our 2023 simulations. Uh, Oregon up 14-10 to 10 here. They're going to score again. And the Ducks, uh, who won the regular season matchup, looking to maybe pull away here. But USC would come back with a couple of field goals. And then this touchdown to Mario Williams. They go for two. And all of a sudden, USC is up by three, 24-21. Fourth quarter now, a field goal from Oregon would tie it up. And then USC on the ground. Austin Jones would score, 31-24 USC. And then Oregon, they'll score with Bucky Irving on the ground. And we go to overtime tied at 31. Caleb Williams and USC with the ball first. Third down. Pass is complete, and he's going to get into the end zone. Touchdown, Trojans. Now Oregon with it. They'll go to the end zone. They'll score, and we're tied. We go to overtime number two. Nicks to throw on third down and 16. How about that play? Clutch throw, touchdown, Ducks, and then USC's Caleb Williams would score. So it's an old game, obviously. not No new rules for overtime, so we just keep playing, and USC will score a touchdown here in overtime number three. Going to go for two. Williams. With it, with time, what's he going to do? Going to take off and run, and he'll get in. So USC will score. Now Oregon looking to answer back. Nix throws an interception, and it's the USC defense coming up with a big turnover to win the game. USC 53, Oregon 45 in our Pac-12 championship. Of course, both teams would go on to the college football playoff. We showed you that bracket already. But this video really is about the Pac-12 standings and showing you the results for every single team in the Pac-12. I'm going to go through the standings now. And keep in mind, these are not my predictions. This is simply what the video game had to say about it. So let's jump right in. All right, we're going to start at the bottom. And Arizona, big disappointment, 2-10. This is a team that I did pick to go to a bowl game. Uh, so the game not high on the Wildcats. Their only wins would come over Northern Arizona and UTEP. And we didn't even simulate those games. Remember, uh, we're not even doing the group of five games, just counting those as wins. So a very disappointing season here, obviously, for Arizona. Uh, you go ahead of them to California. They go 4-8, and 2-7 and seven in the conference. Uh, another team that disappointed. Uh, not really high expectations for Cal this year, but they would beat North Texas, Idaho, Washington, and UCLA. So they did go on the road and beat Washington and UCLA. They got a couple of huge wins. But then they lost to, to Auburn, Arizona State, Oregon State, Utah, USC, Oregon, Washington State, and Stanford. So a bad season here for Cal. Ahead of them was Stanford, 4-8, and 2-7 and seven in the conference. A little bit higher than I have them in real life. Uh, Stanford would beat Hawaii, Sacramento State, Arizona, and Cal. They lose to USC, Oregon, Colorado, UCLA, Washington, Washington State, Oregon State, and Notre Dame. All right, ahead of Stanford, we've got Colorado. Colorado just missing out on a bowl game, 5-7 and seven overall, 3-6 and six in the Pac-12. Uh, you look at their wins, they beat Nebraska. That was a big non-conference win. They beat Colorado State, Stanford, Arizona, and finished things off with an upset win over Utah. They lost to TCU, Oregon, USC, Arizona State, UCLA, Oregon State, and Washington State. All right, moving on. We've got UCLA going 7-5, and 4-5 and five in the Pac-12. Not a great year, but not horrible. Uh, you saw the Bruins beat Coastal Carolina, San Diego State, North Carolina Central, Utah, Stanford, Colorado, and Arizona. Losses came to Washington State, Oregon State, Arizona State, USC, and Cal. And then ahead of them, Arizona State had a pretty good year, 6-6 six and six overall. Four and five in the Pac-12, a little bit better than I think most people would expect. Um, they beat Southern Utah, Fresno State. Now, that's one I'd really like to simulate because I don't think that's a gimme win. Um, so maybe they don't win that game. You know, we, we don't know right now. But uh, Cal, Colorado, UCLA, Arizona, those are the wins. They lost to Oklahoma State, USC, Washington, Washington State, Utah, and Oregon. So all the teams that they lost to finished pretty high. Um, in our simulation. So you look at the bottom half of the Pac-12 here. Arizona is the big story. I mean, I don't think they're going to go 2-10. and 10. Everything else is, is potentially realistic. And remember, I've said this in the other videos. The teams may not be right in, in these videos, but this does really indicate what's going to happen in terms of teams that are surprise 
teams in a good way and surprise teams in a bad way, teams that are better than you think and worse than you think because it happens every single year. There will be a team probably that really has a bad year. I don't, you know, Maybe it is Arizona. I don't think it's going to be, but you're going to see that. And I think these simulations do a really good job of just giving you uh, the big picture of what potentially could happen. And so let's go to the top half now. We've got Washington at 8-4, and 5-4 four, and four in the conference. This would be a disappointment for sure. Uh, this team's in a lot of people's preseason top tens. Uh, they beat Boise State, Tulsa, Michigan State, Arizona, Arizona State, Stanford, Oregon State, and Washington State. Lost to Cal, Oregon, USC, and Utah. Again, that Cal loss was definitely a head-scratcher. You know, it's not crazy, though, to think Washington could lose four games. Again, teams that are projected in the top 10 every year you know we're gonna you're gonna have teams that lose four or five games it just happens so we'll see if washington does turn out to be a disappointment utah ahead of them five and four in the pac-12 just seven and five overall because they did lose to florida in the non-conference uh, so looking at their season they they beat baylor they beat weaver state oregon state cal arizona state washington and arizona but they lost to florida ucla usc oregon and Colorado, but again, not too crazy to think that Utah could go seven and five, especially if they lose to Florida. If they lose to Florida, I could definitely see them going eight and four, seven and five. Um, ahead of them, we've got Oregon State, nine and three, six and three in the conference. A lot of people high on this team. Uh, they actually did a little bit better than I expected, than I'm predicting them to do. Uh, wins over San Jose State, UC Davis, San Diego State, Washington State, Cal, UCLA, Arizona, Colorado, and Stanford. Losses came to Utah. Washington and Oregon. So a really good year there for Oregon State. Ahead of them, we have Washington State. So this is your surprise team for sure. I don't think anyone's expecting this team to go nine and three, but the simulation did have them having a really good year. And there will probably be a surprise team in the Pac-12. Maybe it is Washington State, but I'm telling you, someone will surprise. It always happens. Uh, their wins were over Colorado State, Wisconsin. They beat Wisconsin again, by the way. Northern Colorado. UCLA, Arizona, Arizona State, Stanford, Cal, and Colorado. Losses came to Oregon State, Oregon, and Washington. And then the top two teams. First, we've got USC coming in at number two, 11 and one, eight and one in the conference. They had a fantastic season. Only loss came to Oregon, and we showed you, um, you know, at the beginning of the video, they did beat Oregon in a rematch in the Pac-12 championship game. Oregon won the regular season. They were actually undefeated, 12-0, and 9-0, and uh, then lost that game to USC in the Pac-12 championship. But still, it was enough to get them into the college football playoff. Uh, if you watched our playoff simulation, you saw they actually made it to the national championship but lost to Florida State. If you want to watch all those games, you can go over to the SG1 Sports 2 channel. But again, this is, I think, a very good indication of what's going to happen. I think you're probably going to see a surprise team like Washington State. Maybe it's someone else. Probably going to see a disappointing team like Arizona, or, or maybe it's someone else, uh, but that's usually the way it goes. And I think Oregon USC is a very good prediction. In fact, that's my prediction for the teams that are going to be in the Pac 12 championship. I also have USC beating Oregon. Now, I don't have Oregon at 12 0, uh, but that was my Pac 12 championship. So I think the simulations overall in the Pac 12 are going to be pretty accurate. I'm not buying Washington State at 9 3 or Arizona at 2 10. But everything else here I think could potentially happen. Give me your thoughts down in the comments below.